Father, we pray. Let your voice be exalted above every other voice in our lives in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. The word of God says that I know the thoughts that I have for you. Thought of good and not evil. And so this morning, I declare this word or these words upon you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 5 to 6. It says, for indeed we came to Macedonia and our bodies had no rest, but were troubled on every side. Outside were conflicts, inside were fears. This is the word of God. Paul is saying that when they got to Macedonia, they fought things outside and inside too they had fears. But this morning, verse 6 says, But nevertheless, hallelujah, Amen. nevertheless, God who comforts the downcast comforted us by the coming of Titus, hallelujah. Amen. This morning I pray, if anyone here, or if there's anyone under the sound of my voice that is downcast, we pray that there will be an upliftment of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, are you here this morning? If there is anybody here this morning that is downcast, we pray that there will be what an upliftment of the spirit of this person in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that where there is a casting down, there shall be what a lifting up. And so I pray, may your countenance be lifted this morning in the name of Jesus. And I declare that anything that is stealing your joy, anything that is taking that comfort, anything that you are fighting, any fears that you have within you, as we pray, we declare in the name of Jesus. May that fear be taken out in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. And so every spirit that you are fighting in within, that is overwhelming you. As we declare this morning, may that spirit find its way out in the name of Jesus. For those worn out, we pray. We declare restoration over you in the name of Jesus. For those of you who are fighting many things, we pray and declare the peace of God over you in the name of Jesus. And we declare that every trouble that you are subjected to, as we declare in the name of Jesus, you are going above that trouble in the name of Jesus. Everything that is fighting you, you are overcoming it in the name of Jesus. Because Paul said, nevertheless, nevertheless, Yes, you may be subjected to a lot of things. But nevertheless, the God who comforts is bringing you comfort in the name of Jesus. Oh, are you here this morning? The God who comforts. I don't know where you need comfort. I don't know where you are seeking the face of God. On, or in, in, I don't know the area. But as we declare and as we speak, may the comfort of God come upon you in the name of Jesus. You know, the Spirit of God... It's called the spirit of comfort. And so I pray in the name of Jesus. In areas in your life, in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in things that you are fighting that you don't even know where they are coming from. The spirit of God is a spirit of comfort. And so we declare upon you in the name of Jesus. That may the spirit of comfort in the name of Jesus overshadow and overwhelm every weakness you have in the name of Jesus. Somebody say a big amen. And I declare, rest for everyone under the sound of my voice. This is the seventh month. It's a month of perfection. Everything that has overwhelmed you for this past six months, we pray that this month of July, you have restoration. We pray that this month of July, you see the hand of God move in your life in the name of Jesus. If you believe this, say, I believe it. And give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah.